you, Jaru. His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Anil Shastri Ji, Anu Ji, <coughs> Dr. Biswas, and dignitaries and the friends, and dignitaries and friends in the audience. I am a seeker of wisdom, and I keep searching for examples of people who are good and successful. That is, people for whom means as well as ends are important, and who have still risen to great heights in life. That is why Lal Bahadur Shastri was an exciting persona for me to study. A poor and principled man making it to the top of the deck. When I look at Lal Bahadur Shastri from the prism of wisdom, I spot three prominent hues in him of political wisdom, of social wisdom, and of spiritual wisdom. Let me illustrate each of these colors through an anecdote from the book. This will also give you a flavor of the book. Political Wisdom Year 1963 Morarji Desai was the finance minister in Nehru's cabinet when Lal Bahadur Shastri was home minister. Nehru took ill. The eve, uh, but an urgent Congress parliamentary meeting was to be held. The evening before the meeting, Murarji Desai drove down to Shastri's home to ask him how could he project himself as the number two after Nehru. He was apprehensive that Jagjeevan Ram is also planning to do the same. So Shastri advised him to reach the parliament house where the meeting is to be held half an hour before the meeting is to start and occupy the chair which Nehru used to sit on. He did as he was told. Jagjeevan Ram reached in time but too late to take Nehru's chair. Since Morarji was already occupying the chair, he was allowed to chair the meeting. Any good text on power today would tell you that there are three important indicators of power in a group setting. Meeting, greeting and seating. <coughs> meeting means who has called the meeting or asked for the meeting, where is it happening and at whose convenience. Greeting means who addresses whom as what, who Mr. Sir uh, uh, or Sir's home. Seating, who takes the head chair and who takes the other prominent seats. Though this cataloging of indicators of power, meeting, greeting and seating is recent, but its realization is old. And Lal Bhattu Shastri in his innate wisdom knew that meeting has already been called, nothing can be done about it. Greetings won't change overnight. So seating will determine the pecking order as it did. Social wisdom. Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, who later on became the President of India, was a senior leader of the Congress party in Madhya Pradesh. He was looking for an opportunity to come to central politics, to Delhi. So expressed this desire to Shastri ji. Shastri ji needed him to continue in Madhya Pradesh for political reasons. This is what he said to Shankar Dayal. Although you will be an asset to me in Delhi, who will be my man in Madhya Pradesh, Shankar Dayal? I need a man like you to look after my work in the state for some more time. Shankar Dayal had nothing to say after that and happily continued in Madhya Pradesh as Shastriji's confidant. Though Shastri had declined the request, but he declined the request in such a tactful, thoughtful and motivating manner that Shankar Dayal, rather than concealing that incident, proudly repeated this conversation to many, to Anilji as well. Shastri had turned him down but in a way which enhanced his esteem. Shastri's no had transformed into a badge of honor for him. Spiritual wisdom and illustration from spiritual wisdom. After finishing school, Anil Shastri went to seek admission at St. Stephen's College. His father was Prime Minister. He filled his application form as follows. Name Anil Kumar. Father's name L.B. Shastri. Occupation Government Servant, 
address he had to mention ten janpat. Deposited the form at the counter and stood in the queue. The person attending the queue noticed the address bit and asked Anil some penetrating questions. Soon it was clear to him that he is the Prime Minister's son. He took him to the principal's office and then took him around the whole, uh, whole college, Stephen's College. This took about 20-30 minutes. Then Anil Shastri was interviewed and he left for home. Later in the evening, when Anil narrated the incident to Lal Bahadur Shastri, Lal Bahadur Shastri was happy that Anil had stood in the queue, but was pained by the fact that the others in the queue had to wait while the office was showering attention on Anil. I find this Lal Bahadur Shastri's most significant spiritual quality, concern for the other man. A similar spirit is resonated in Gandhi's favorite Hindi bhajan, Vaishnav Jan Tene Kahiye Jo Peer Parai Jane Re. In English, it means the truly spiritual man is one who understands the pain of others. For Shastri, spirituality doesn't happen when some god descends on the horizon, but happens when the other man appears on the horizon. <coughs> His spirituality is concern for the other man and service of the other man. That, in a nutshell, is my view of him. So wise a man. A man with the courage of a general and the compassion of a saint. A man who taught us to live and lead with dignity and honor. Writing this book on him was an intellectually stimulating and proud experience. Pride not because I was writing the book, but pride because I had such a Prime Minister too. <clears throat> writing this book was also heartwarming. Anil Shastri and Anu Anand were my old friends, fortunate to have them. And soon a new friend appeared on the horizon. We were joined by Mrs. Manju Shastri, and who was Anilji's wife. She brought with her sharp insights, great food and laughter, and completed our team. We have been singing our four of us. If you like it, please. तो गुनगुना दीजिएगा तो आवाज दूर तक जाएगी लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जैसी मिसालें आज हमारे समाज की जरूरत है वी हैव संग आर सॉन्ग इफ यू लाइक इट हम अलाउ देन द फ्रेग्रेंस ऑफ लाल बहादुर शास्त्री वुड स्प्रेड फर्दर आर सोसाइटी इज इन ग्रेट नीड ऑफ सच फ्रेग्रेंसेज सच एग्जाम्पल्स जय हिंद